Hey guys, this is Blake from Blake Sanctum, retro site for retro games, bringing to you a, well, bit of a different video. Me! <laughs> now let's face it, normally I don't do videos that have my face in it, normally I'm just a voice behind a game, but I've decided to do something different today, and that is bring to you guys a special video of me getting out and trying again my... Uh, it's 20 year old Sega Mega Drive. Now I've not touched this thing in possibly more than 20 years, like maybe like 21 years. It, I reckon it was about 96, 97 that I sort of switched to the PC gaming world and I just stopped using my Mega Drive. Plus I had a faulty RF cable that just stopped working and I could barely, you know, with a lot of jiggling and bending, I could sometimes get it working. It was all just too much trouble, so I, I just abandoned it and I never got another console. I pretty much switched to emulation for anything I wanted to play in the console world. So I've decided to uh, come back to it because retro gaming has just taken off in the uh, in the last few years there's just so much going on on YouTube and Twitter with just heaps of like people just trying out old consoles you've got the mini NES mini SNES so now you've got lots of other people getting into it too and it just feels like the right time for me to just get out the Mega Drive and have a go so let's take a look now for 20 years my Mega Drive has lived in this sort of table draws thing, uh, surrounded by German beer steins and uh, medieval armor and uh, a few posters. Look at that, Vikings. If you've never seen it, check it out. It's like right up there with Game of Thrones. Great movie. Great movie. More great movies. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it's been in here now. If I lift this up, ooh, damn. Rust on my arm, a bit of polish that. And yes, for those thinking, oh my god, he's got medieval armor. Yes, I'm just that nerdy. <laughs> we have a really good medieval fair here in South Australia, so it's, uh, it's quite fun to go down to that and dress up. Uh, not that one. Um, here we go, look at this. The good thing about this, this um, chest of drawers is that um, it's kept the dust off it, so it looks good. Look at that, the original controller. But I didn't really, it's, it's in good condition, other than looks like there's a little bit of fading on the on the left of the directional pad. Bloody thing won't focus. Um, but it's in good condition because I probably hardly ever used it. Uh, because I ended up getting custom controllers. Look at this. As you can see, I <laughs> this is probably, I don't know whether this increases its value or lowers it. It's probably the latter, but uh, I graffitied it as a kid. We, I was obsessed with Sonic, so... Uh, I got lots of Sega related stickers that came with various Sega magazines I used to get. It was like Sega Megazone and uh, things like that. And, uh, I got the Sega Hotline, what else have I called that number now? Probably nothing. I got a Sonic 1 sticker and that would be the bad guy, um, for the first boss battle from Sonic 1 if I recall. And we've got a Sonic 2 down here, a little bit of damage to the sticker. We're looking pretty good here. Very nice. Yep. Beautiful. Hope it works, otherwise this video is for nothing. Yeah. Alright. And, ooh, yes. So these are my custom controls. One's not looking too good. Maybe I'll leave that one in there. Um, these were great. Like, you could, um... Oh, I wonder if I still have... Like, these... See that hole? You could actually put a little, um joystick in there. Oh no! God knows where they are. It's been 20 years, so do you think I'm going to remember where they are? Oh, that's a shame. Because it was really cool, um, you know, uh, before the days of the PlayStation with its lovely analog uh, joystick little attachments, uh, not attachments, uh, built into the uh, game pads and stuff, uh, you could actually get custom ones for Sega Mega Drive. It did the same thing, so... Oh, it doesn't look like they're in here either, so... They might be lost to time, unfortunately, guys, but, uh, oh, we'll need that. That's the power cord. And look at that. I had a Sega Master System converter. But, uh, in the end, my mum made me, because we had no money, she made me sell all the, um, all the games. Uh, so, it's useless now. Probably could get a fortune for that on eBay. And, uh, look at this infrared device for a massive Genesis gun. Now, most people would know of the Nintendo gun, but Sega did have a bit of a foray into that. I think they probably got third parties to do it, but um, I actually did have a, um, 
a massive gun and then uh, some friends broke it. Uh, not intentionally, of course, but uh, yeah. So I don't even know where that is. It's obviously not in here because it's massive, but uh, it's somewhere in this house. There's no point in getting it out because it's stuffed. Um, now, look at this. Here's all my games. So we got, I had Bubsy. Oh, Super Monaco. This was great. Absolutely great. Had like really like photo like images in between, like there's like cutscenes and stuff. Sonic 1 and 2, of course. Ugh. And uh, oh, yeah, so this is the games that came with the gun. So it was like six shooting games. Practically useless now. Well, I'll have a look at it and see how it goes. Won't be able to do anything with it. I don't think it had a controller mode option. Lemmings 2. Pretty game, but uh, I was a bit disappointed with it. I mean, I was a big Lemmings fan, but um, Lemmings 2 tries was so freaking difficult. <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles. Well, that's got a bit of dust on it. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. And Sonic 3, of course, and you put that together with Sonic and Knuckles, and oh yeah, one of the best games ever. Quack Shots. Why have I written a note about Quack Shots? I used to love hiring Quack Shots, that was a great game. Because I used to play the Sega Master System version a lot. Uh, was it Lucky Dime Caper or something? And uh, But the Mega Drive one was way better, so I used to hire that occasionally. I never got my hands on it though. This. This was probably the final game that I played religiously on my Mega Drive because it was like a strategy slash RPG kind of space game. Starflight, it was so It was a remake of a PC and Amiga game. And a uh, real absolute classic. And you explored the galaxy, landed on planets, did mining, and then you go back and you upgrade your ship. It was like, yeah. By this stage, I had a PC and I was starting to get into strategy games on there. On there. So this kind of brought me back to the Mega Drive a bit for a few years. And, uh, and this really was the last thing that I was addicted to before I stopped playing it. And look, I got an extra copy of Sonic. I think um, when I subscribed to Sega Megazone, uh, a reward was various games and I picked a game of course they'd run out of so they sent me Sonic 1 instead I was like oh great I've already got one and then the magazine collapsed a couple of months later and my subscription was worth it so they had to refund me it was... I remember all that oh, look at that what the hell I still got the manual for Alex Kid and Miracle I don't even have my master system anymore and even, you know like the converter you know it ain't built into the converter this was built into my old master system because I had a master system too that's funny that I actually still have it. It looks like I've graffitied it as well. I've coloured it in. Foolish boy. Wow. And uh, one more thing we're going to need. Well, this. well, we're not going to need I just want to show you. This was the RF cable that carked it. Um, like, I can't probably do this one-handed, but... Uh, is this it? No. And that's... Uh, this get it out but um this piece falls out basically <laughs> it's not attached so uh, that was the end of it um, but I have bought this on eBay a better cable an AV cable which apparently gives a much better clearer picture and uh, it was like five bucks on eBay you can get them even cheaper on China from China but I um, I was impatient I wanted it within a week so I got it from an Australian seller and this will go into that. So I think we're all set to go, guys. Let's get this thing rolling. Oh, look what I just found in the drawer. This is the gun I was telling you guys about. The Menacer. This was the gun I had. It was absolutely awesome until those idiots broke it. Wow. It's, it's somewhere in this house. Maybe I wonder if, you know, I mean, I was a kid, so I had no idea how to fix it, but maybe... Maybe it might be something I can fix these days, but well, that's another video for another time. All right, we're almost ready to set this thing up. Now, this is the TV I'm going to be using it on. This is a 46-inch Sony Bravia LCD TV, and I hear that classic consoles on LCDs just look absolutely ghastly, not just from the low resolution, but also just the cable quality. And um, so, yeah, if this, it looks really bad on here. I've got an old CRT TV out in the lounge room that hardly ever gets used, so uh, we can plug it up to that and see how it goes on there. Um, now, something else I wanted to talk about just quickly is um, if you're someone who's interested in retro gaming, you don't really know where to start, then I definitely recommend these guys. If you've got Twitter, come follow these guys. 
Um, don't bother following me because I, even though I have a website and a YouTube channel and a blog for news and all that kind of stuff, I don't use my Twitter for, for retro gaming news or anything like that. I just use it to stalk celebrities um, and F1 drivers and teams. And uh, <laughs> But I also use it to follow these guys. So if you're wanting to, some really good people who like just post about retro games and interesting developments in the retro gaming community, don't go past these guys. Like the Gebs24 has one of the most ridiculous collections you'll ever see. Like if I um, go into a, a Twitter, look at this. Look at all that stuff. She's got like the, she's just got shelves with like hundreds and hundreds of games for so many different consoles. It's insane. So uh, she's a great one. Massive following as well. She's very popular. Sin Spacey's, he's a great guy. A fellow Australian. He um, used to work for Sega and he um, has, uh, he used to work for Sega Megazone as well. The magazine I mentioned earlier that screwed me up. Um, and uh, Ealing to the Past, she uh, she collects. She's another collector, so she's collecting old Sega and Nintendo stuff and posts lots of cool pictures and talks about stuff. And it's funny because she's quite young. She probably wasn't even alive when half those games were out, but anyway. <laughs> Um, hey, you know, if, if, if you're passionate about it, that's all that matters. Um, Oz Retro Gamer, he's another good one. Octavius Kitten, she's hilarious. Probably creates the best, like, like production quality videos I've possibly ever seen on YouTube. Even if she may not think so. I sure as hell think so. Like, she has, like, she actually takes, like, video game characters out of old 80s games and has them as, like, characters, like, walking around her house, interacting with her, cracking jokes and things. It's, it's brilliant. And she plays heaps of old stuff and does all sorts of funny videos. Um, and these are great new services. iRetro Gamer, Games Freezer, Emmy Paradise, Zofas Domain, uh, Retro Gamer, Commodore Blog, Indie Retro News, Retro Gamer. There's some really great stuff. Man, I'm just getting into sports people now and actors. Um, all right, yeah. These guys, they are the perfect place to get started if you want to get into, like, you're curious about either collecting or just hearing about, you know, the latest in retro gaming news because some of these news sites have introduced me to so much amazing stuff. Like, there are people actually making games for the Commodore 64 and uh, the Amiga and stuff like that these days. It's incredible that people are actually making games right now for these ancient consoles. There's just these diehard communities. This is probably my favorite thing I've discovered though. I mean, it's hilarious. I run a retro gaming site and I did not know about this magazine, uh, Retro Game. It's been around for over 10 years and um, it's brilliant. I mean, this particular one here had like a six page spread on the history of Final Fantasy. It had like a six page thing on the history of the Commodore 64. It had a six page thing on the making of Starcraft. Like they, brilliant. Uh, and there was like a uh, ZX Spectrum collectors like uh, thing as well, which I'm sure Octavius would love to check out. Um, just so much like just oh I love it it's brilliant so um yeah I strongly recommend if you haven't seen this magazine go check that out that's a brilliant way to get into the world of retro gaming I've actually subscribed to it now and uh, looking forward to reading it yeah, anyway let's get on with this the fun stuff okay I think she's all plugged up now uh, we've got I've put in the AV into the back of the TV, hopefully in the right slots. I've plugged in the power, running the cables underneath to the Mega Drive below. I have set the uh, TV to the old RF channel, not RF, AV. And uh, controllers plugged in. Oh, and here's another one I forgot to mention. Look at this. this is a, oh, you can't really see it, but it's like a holographic NBA. Uh, sticker as well. I used to love hiring that game as well, NBA Jam. So we're gonna let's start with simple. We'll see if Sonic One works. It's probably the first game I own. So it's probably the oldest, so maybe that's not the best to start with. But anyway, <laughs> I've committed to the plan. And uh, oh god, I creep graffiti that as well. Graffiti, sorry. You stupid boy. Might be selling that, and not that I would, but anyway. Uh, although then again, I've got two, so maybe I'll just sell the other one. Uh, oh, the case is broken. Look at that. See, it's missing the corner. It's obviously a great. Too excited as a kid. Oh, let's play Sonic. Snap. All right, so I got the cartridge out. Uh, oh, this brings back memories. Oh, slotting it in. That's what she said. <clears throat> Uh, all right, so we got that, we got that, and I think we're good to go. So, all right, let's, uh, oh, this, 
I'm, no, I'm actually nervous now. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work in this video. It could be all for nothing. All right, here we go. Oh, whoa. yeah, here we go. Here we go. Holy shit. It's working. Oh, yeah. Shut this curtain a bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, dear. That. Yeah. See what they mean? That. Oh, God. Look at Sonic. Look at the distortions. <laughs> the flowers as well. There's all this. Oh, now it's moving quickly, so it's less obvious, but. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look too good blown up. There's, it's very, yeah, there's a lot of glitchiness around all the sprites and things. But wow, this is great. Alright, I think we're going to fix this camera into a spot and we can have a muck around. Uh, uh, hopefully that has a decent view. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Let's have a go. I don't even know if this even works. Let's try. Alright. Uh, start. Promising. Alright. Yep, there we go. Oh, wow, that... You guys won't be able to tell from back there, but... This looks really bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited, I'm happy it's working, but... Wow, that does not look good. On the, on the big screen. Those flying things come along here. There you are, you bastard. Woo! And you don't have the the um yeah that you don't have that till Sonic 2, the starting spin. Or standing star. Oh, whoa! <laughs> we can tell I haven't played in a while. <laughs> I just walked into a robot fish. Cause why not? Oh man. Ah, you didn't get me that time. Alright, so this one works. Shall we get on to the next one? Maybe I should try it on the other TV. I reckon, uh, we'll tr cause it, it might look good for you guys, but it looks absolutely terrible for me. So I might switch to the old CRT and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There goes that plan. My old TV is broken. It seems to be just cycling through menus on its own. It appears to have lost its mind. Um, uh, look at that. What the hell? Wow. That's, um, yeah. Okay. Back to the LCD. <laughs> okay, we're back in the bedroom and uh, I've made a couple of changes. There's an hour cat here. And uh, I have decided to try out the, uh, is that what it was called? Owlpad. Interesting. Um, see if the turbo buttons and all that stuff uh, still work. It looks like it's uh, well on its way to joining its its uh, brother pad with the uh, damage around there. That's a bit of a shame, but um, anyway, let's give a go at the next one. Sonic 2. I love that cover. I think this is one of the ones that really made the Mega Driver. It was one of the biggest hits on there, I think, wasn't it? Let's uh, open it up. If I can do it one-handed. There we go. Oh, no. I graffiti this one as well. Damn you, Daniel. And uh, no signs of damage. That's good. Oh, nice. <sighs> and uh, put her on. <sighs> See what we get here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow, so this one's working too. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh, that's right, you could do um, split screen two player. I forgot about that. 
I reckon I had this song in my head the other day and I couldn't think, like, I was like, where did I get that from? Now I remember. <laughs> Alright, let's have a go. I'll, uh, put this in the spot. Cat doesn't like the noise, he's gonna leave. Is that good at all? Pretty much. Bit better back here. Oh no. Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> it's frozen! I, I, all I did was pull the controller a bit, but. Alright, we'll reset it. Going well. I used to love playing this as a kid, getting around my friends uh, Dave and William and we'd play as Sonic and Tails and work together, which of course being kids that always went well and ended up in arguments. <laughs> Who got to be Sonic? Who got to be Tails? Who dropped who into a pit of lava? Here we go, now I can do my bloody... Yes, that's what I wanted to do in the other one. Bang. No! What are you doing, numbnuts? Let me go this way. Oh, hello. Alright, this is a fast bit. I'll... Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't want you to move. Stop moving. There we go. Oh yeah. Very good. Oh wow, good boy. Oh here we go, we're gonna do one of these. Oh my god. Oh man, I haven't done one of these in 20 plus years, so this is gonna go well. I'm not wearing my glasses, so that's not helping either. Oh man. Woo. Maybe those evil mind things don't appear until the later levels. I just remember I, they were horrible. Cool, kids. It's cool. That's right, you had to like pretty much start memorizing because oh there's some of those things I was talking about. If you did it in the perfect timing, Tails would kind of collect the ones that Sonic missed. But you know, you think I remember any of that now? That's of course if you didn't have a human player helping you. Get 140 rings. cock up. Oh, we are sucking so bad. One ring to go. Oh, that. They made it that easy that even me dipping up that many times, I still got it. Woo! Chaos Emerald. Alright. I think that's it for that one. I wonder what I did to make a jam. I was pulling on the controller to get back further and it didn't like it. Alright, let's try the next one, Sonic 3. Oh, and uh, I also forgot to show you guys the back of the uh, 
Sonic 2 cartridge, although it's not focusing very well, is it? Hopeless. And uh, Sonic 1. Yep. Uh, Alright, Sonic 3. Mm, lots of stuff on the back there. Very nice. Oh look, no no graffiti on this one. Probably because Sonic 3 came out uh, I think when I was more like 13, 14-ish, so uh, I'd grown out of colouring things, that's for sure. No damage to the case, that's good. And uh, I realise I forgot to use the turbo buttons. I'll give it a go. Oh, very nice. Ah, oh, yep, yeah. so it's pretty much showing the intro. May as well set things up and play it then. All right. save games. That's unbelievable. I mean, the battery in there should be, should have died years ago. That's like a 25 year old battery keeping those save games. That's unbelievable. Wow. I can't believe that. Alright. Uh, start. Supersonic. Knuckles. Alrighty. Barracuda had like a, yeah, he had a special move when you jumped and you hit the button again, you got a swipe thing. Knuckles had the gliding and Tails had the flying. And so if I hit the turbo button, it's just fast doing. And what's this super slow? I don't remember that at all. So apparently I can slow down the console with this Alpad. That's crazy. Wow. Alright. So turbo doesn't really help much with the... Although I suppose it would help with a down spin, maybe. Like if I go... Yeah! Oh, okay. <laughs> he took off jumping, so maybe not so great for that. Is there a, um... Yeah, there we go. I remembered. Ah, Tails, you missed. Beautiful level. Great background. Shit. Shit! Oh, I was asking for that, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, I missed. Oh, wow, I'm doing well. Thanks, Tails, because I was about to head for that. Oh, boy. Can I push this? Yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at all this. Oh, we got a boss fight. That's right. In Sonic 3, they had mini boss fights. 
I'm invincible, so I may as well just. Ha ha ha! That's right, and the whole area caught fire. Look at that. Oh, yeah, alright. Well, that went well, didn't it, guys? At least it wasn't that horrible, um, the other one, when you go for the ring, and it's a bloody, uh... There's a thing down there. Oh, crying out loud. There we go. This is the things I don't miss at all. I hated these things. Oh my god. Oh. I hated these things. I'm, I'm too old now. I don't have the reflexes. <laughs> ah! Oh. And you get dizzy. You get so dizzy. Well, that's it. I so don't miss that. It makes it faster and faster and faster. Ugh. Well, that was fun. Oh, next one. Alrighty. So next. Ah, uh, yes. Sonic and Knuckles. The last great Sonic game of the classic era. And also in a box. Like, it was pretty rare for Mega Drive games to come in a box back in those days. So. Like that. Combine it with Sonic 3 or Sonic 2 and get all this extra cool stuff, blah, blah, blah. And of course you can play as Knuckles and Sonic 2 and uh, with Sonic 3 it joins together to make like a super game. So, alright. Let's, uh... <sighs> oh, now this could be a bit harder to do one-handed. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Alright, we'll add an elbow. Nope, that's not getting me anywhere either. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to use my fingers that are holding the phone. Oh, looks like we might have some extra challenges. Hang on. Ooh, there we go. Slight damage to the edges of the manual. But no graffiti, that's the important thing. <laughs> Look at this thing. The strangest Mega Drive cartridge you'll ever see, because of course you could plug other games <sighs> into it. All right, let's stick her in. That's what she said. <coughs> Promising? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, that was wiped my ear. One of the best intros you'd see to a Sonic game, that's for sure. You were, back in the day it was like, you know, how did they do that? It's so magical. Oh, good old Mushroom Hill Zone. One of my favourite zones. Alright, let's put the camera in a good place so I can have a muck around. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Sonic's the villain when you play as Knuckles in Sonic 3. That might be it. 
it's hard to remember. Oh god, that's right, the mushrooms are bouncy things. So this is probably my second favourite Sonic world of all time. Most people it's generally Green Hill Zone, of course. But um, for me it's actually Emerald Hill Zone, that's my favourite. Here. There we go, that's the glide. Um, yeah, for me it's Emerald Hill Zone, then this second, and then um, Green Hill Zone. I mean, I used to love Green Hill Zone back in the day, but uh, I don't know, once these came out, I uh, fell in love with them as a kid. Is there something this way? No. What the hell? Oh, that's right, all right. Oh, and I can, hang on, how do I, um... There we go, look at that, he can climb, baby. Oh. Dumbass. Yeah! That's how you do it. Third time's a charm. Shit. Go away. Oh, I hated those guys. They throw those bouncy mushroom things at you. Go away! Go away! <laughs> Shit! Ah! Oh my god. How did I survive that, guys? Oh! What? What? What's happening? No, you are not gonna bouncy mushroom me out of here. No way. Go to hell. Um, oh, right, yeah, all right. I don't remember any of this. Well, I, mean, I kind of remember it, but yeah. A long time ago. I'm trying to get to like a bonus level or something, but of course I've lost all my rings, so I suppose it's a waste of time. I think the bonus levels are just the same as Sonic 3 anyway. Well, I'm not going to get it now, am I? Dumbass. Oh god, remember this thing? Nah. Nah. <laughs> That's the point where I go, yeah. I, I think if you just kept jumping and jumping in an event, you'd eventually escape it, but, uh, you know, it's a uh, very good game. There's some great later levels in that one. I remember there was, I think there's an ice one, or that might be Sonic 3. There was a great desert one, I think, in this one with pyramids and stuff. <sighs> Let's do the next one. Oh my god, guys, check this out. I couldn't resist sticking in Sonic 3 into um, Sonic and Knuckles to get the super combined game. And then once again, there are all my save games. I can't believe they're still there after like 20 years in a roughly 25 year old battery. I mean, unless this is something different, because I was under the impression that all old games of this era, you'd lose your save games if the battery went flat. I can't believe they're still there. Like, right, let's see what happens when I, um... Oh, I love this. This is one of my favourite tracks from the Sonic games. Do, do, do. Very nice. Because I can't play one-handed, but anyway. Ugh, he looks mean. Anyway, that is... I still can't believe that. That's amazing. Alright, next game. <laughs> 